You wanna play games, motherfucker? Hello everyone, hope you're all enjoying your day today. I just saw Spyro from the Book of Saw, starring executive producer Chris Rock, and of course, the ever impressive Samuel L. Jackson, and was directed by Darren Lynn Bozeman. He directed Saw 2, II, Saw 3, and Saw 4. This was the first time since the first Saw movie that I was actually excited to see one. I've seen the other Saw trailers, they don't look good. But I've never actually seen a Saw movie, but I basically know everything about the first one. I already know that the original Jigsaw killer, John Kramer, dies in the third one, which is completely and utterly weird when you think about it because the whole franchise is around him and he dies in the third one. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, what did I think of Spiral? It was good. In a guilty pleasure type way. By all standards, this movie is bad, but it's so much fun. Let me explain the actual positives first, of course. All things considered, this movie looks 100 times better than the other Saw movies. Probably because since they had a Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson, there was more money put into this one. And you can tell that the money was put there. You know, there's like good directing choices. I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, it's like the best directing ever. No, it's just comprehensible, you know? Chris Rock did a good job, even though sometimes his facial expressions were a bit exaggerated. Like, for example, there's a scene in the bathroom that had me laughing unintentionally. Uh, anyways, uh, from what I re can recall, Chris Rock pitched this idea, his new idea for like a Saw movie, right? So, I heard that the original title was called The Organ Donor. And I'm going to be honest, that sounds much cooler than the actual title we got. I'm going to tell you how I think of his new idea. I like it. It feels like seven, but with a lower budget. And um, I like it. I think it was pretty good. It's probably cliche as hell. I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Don't worry. Uh, Samuel Jackson is awesome as always. You cannot hate this man. As for the other performances, Max Mungeli performance was pretty good. I hope I didn't butcher his name. If I did, I am sorry. I like the twist, even though I saw it coming. The score itself was pretty good and the production design was good. As for the traps, I wouldn't I would say they're tamed down, except for the first two. They didn't do that many traps because I say that the traps serve more for the story rather than just to entertain the audience. So I'm glad they did that. Now for the cons. My main problem with this movie is the editing. Now I think most people who've seen Saw know the editing style they have. I'm gonna be honest, I hate it. I heard that they got rid of it in Jigsaw, but they brought it back here. The editing for the traps is so bad. It's hyper, quick cut, shaky. It's annoying and I don't understand the point of it. You can make good horror just by like making a C rather than quick cut, sound effects, hyper, you know, shaky. I'm just saying there are better ways to do it. It lessened my enjoyment of the traps as well. Another problem is the writing because it literally throws all the cop cliches at you. Big hot shot cop isn't liked by his peers, gets new partner, blah, 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 you get it. Another problem I had with it, it's the ending. The reason why I don't like the ending is because it ends abruptly and it is edited so bad. I mean, it didn't sour my enjoyment of the whole movie, but it was a little disappointing. I did like what happened before the ending, but once the ending hit, and it cut immediately to credits. I'm like, wait a minute, what? I don't know if all some movie endings are like that, but jeez, that, that one was bad. The ending was bad. <laughs> Overall, if you like the Saw franchise, you can watch it. I mean, you won't hate it, uh, but if you don't like Saw, at least give it a shot, you know? You might like it, you might hate it. It doesn't matter. It's not like it's gonna kill you. As for the grade I'm gonna give it, for a film, it's a four out of 10, but for popcorn entertainment wise, it's an 8 out of 10. Wait, hold up. I have something to say before I um, end the video. I forgot to mention something. The soundtrack was done by 21 Savage. And I want to be honest, I didn't like it. I just, I mean, rap's good. I think it's pretty good. But like, it didn't fit the movie at all. Keep in mind, this is a horror movie with a little bit of comedy. But I'm just saying, the soundtrack did not fit at all. Like, it just 
felt completely out of place and just like weird. I'm just saying it didn't feel like it belonged in a Saw movie. That's all I had to say about that. Hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. We're gonna tear this city apart. I'm gonna make a like a spiral.